across the nation and North Texas today. We're going red, like the tie here, to help the American Heart Association call attention to women's heart health. New research is showing that the disease striking women at earlier ages is a reality. Our Robbie Owens is reporting from Dallas in One Survivor's Close Call, a lesson for us all. When we're looking at congressional behaviors, like so many of us, between work and home. I refuse to believe that there was something wrong with me because I actually wanted to come back to work. Uh, that was graduation week, so and as the teacher, you know, you're always uh, going, going, going. Christina Herrera's days were full. Then her failing heart forced her to pay attention. And I just was so exhausted by the time I got to the second floor that I, I felt an upset stomach. I was sweating. I, you know, I just out of breath. Her school nurse insisted that she go to the hospital where she ultimately underwent triple bypass surgery. And this after losing both her mom and younger sister to heart disease. You think you're doing better, better than the previous generation that, you know, I don't cook the way she cooks. Maybe I'm doing some things differently than she was. So I just didn't think it was going to catch up to me. Herrera now knows better and has since become a heart health ambassador. It's intentional. Um, Everything that I do, keeping up with my uh, workout routine, um, signing up for the next race. Good job. Making sure that everything I'm doing is, is not just changing the way I'm feeling, but also changing the way my son looks at food as well. Her journey hopefully nudging other women toward better self-care as well. If we're not here, you know, um, then our children are left alone. We, you know, we, our, our students are left alone. Uh, we have to come first. At North Dallas High, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.